Today everyone, uh, uh, today we'll go over significant figures, which is used. You guys might know already from high school class or in physics or chemistry. So it's used is uh, so that so scientists want to be ac as accurate as possible in their calculation and does not. And they don't want to assume the number behind their range of knowledge. So like 100.1 is only accurate to the 10th digit and it is not equal to 100.1000000. So it's like different from math where you can you can just write 0 0.100 as 0 0.1. And so it is important in the experiment and such to present as present accurate numbers in their calculations and such. So we'll first go over number of significant figures. Well, significant figures in number. So non-zero significant figures are always significant. So one to three has three significant significant figure. Like four, five, six has also three significant figure and such. So that's simple. Uh, any zeros between two significant digits are significant. So we have said that uh, non-zero significant figures are always significant. So two and four are significant, and any zeros between are also significant. So two zero 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 four. All of these numbers. And digits are significant so we have five significant numbers for this number and for this we have 0 0.000304 and we have two significant number in three and four and because only zeros between two significant digits are significant only this zero is significant that's why it's giving us three instead of like one two three four five six seven significant digit so a final zero or trailing zeros are significant only in decimal portion so you see zero 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 nine eight zero and as we said here like this this the zeros that are not trailing or like final zeros uh they're not they're insignificant so 0 0.008980 so this final zero is significant so we have three significant number for this for this number so and this number 0 0.03000 uh, since these last three zeros are trailing zeros their significance which gives us three zero 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 uh, four significant figures so the next are the example of not significant figures. Like I said, the the zeros that come zeros in decimal points that come before a uh, significant number so are not significant. That's why I bolded these four zeros which are not significant. And also zeros even though when zeros are trailing not in decimal portion, not 12, 12, 12,000 these although these zeros are trailing zeros they're not in decimal portion and therefore these numbers are insignificant so this number gives us two significant figure and three zeros that are insignificant so and there's also exception where okay uh, there's exception where Okay, I have to get rid of it. So if you see, there's a point after 12,000. And if there's a decimal point after the number, that means uh, the significant number uh, before all those numbers before all those decimal points are significant. That's why the significant number of that number is uh, 5 instead of 2, like I said in this example. And that's why here, and it can be confusing when scientists read it, that's why we use scientific notation to say how many significant figures are in that number. Which So for example, this one is 1.2 times 10 to the 4th 
showing two significant figures and for this number we'll show like 1.2000 times 10 to the fourth and since trailing zeros and decimal points are significant uh, it clearly shows that it has five significant figures so next so we'll learn how addition and subtraction how to add and subtract number with significant figures so um, when you add a number significant figures add or subtract significant figure is not the most important uh, but your digit is so what I mean is that I'll show you by going through number two through four and showing you an example so in number two so you add your numbers like you do for normal normal addition and subtraction and I hope you know that <laughs> okay so let's go with our example of 12.01 and 0 0.126 so we just add it like normal which we get 12.136 and and in our final step we add we our our answer should be rounded and have the same amount of decimal points as the number with the least amount of decimal points out of the, those two numbers so 12.136 uh, becomes 12.14 because 12.01 has uh, two decimal points, 201, and 0.126 has three decimal points, which is 126. And since 12.01 has lower number of decimal digits, uh, we, sim we simplify to only hundredth digit, which g gives us this 12.14 instead of 12.136 so that's how you deal with addition and subtraction and significant digit number and so well you might say what if it doesn't have decimal points so when you don't have uh, decimal points uh, you round your resulting number to the largest digit place so what I mean is that when you add like 12,000 plus uh, 3,500 3, is going to give us 15,500. 15, so I just did the step two here. And then in step three, uh, we'll round. So you see that the largest digit place is thousands place and 12,000. And for 3,500, the, uh, what is it? The smallest digit place is uh, hundredth place so so the larger digit place out of these two number is thousands place here and that's why you round your number to the thousands place which gives us 1600 so multiplication and division is easier than addition and subtraction so like I, uh, like before we multiply like or divide like a normal multiplication or division so 12.01 times 0 0.12 gives us you can use your calculator it will give us 1.4412 and then you find the lower significant figure out of the two numbers or more numbers so lowest so 12.01 has four significant figures 1 2 0 1 0 between two significant numbers are also significant and 0 0.12 has two significant figure uh, the zero before decimal points are insignificant uh, so 12 to 1 2 sig figs sig figs significant figure same thing and then in number three uh, you round your n number to the lowest significant figure. So we had two significant figures, so we need to get this number to two significant figure as well. So 1.4412, you round to the 1, 2, which is 10th place, which gives us 1.4 for our final answer. So that's it. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And there are more advanced calculations, such as log and uh, ln uh, natural number and such so but these are not commonly used in stoichiometry and like it's going to be used later but I won't go over that for now 
and also square root which is used quite often in physics for calculating uncertainty but is rarely used in chemistry so we'll go over these advanced calculation of sig figs of log ln and square root later thank you